Are you looking for a good wide angle lens for your Fujifilm X series camera? This is my awesome 14 millimeter f 2.8 lens that I've been using for eight years professionally. Let me tell you about it, how it might be the lens for you. Hi, I'm Paul Kraus and I'm a professional photographer based here in Kyoto, Japan. One of the things I do is take pictures of travelers visiting this ancient imperial capital and they want to have good pictures of themselves in the environment. And this is one of the, my key lenses for helping me do that. This focal length is really good for creating images with perspective and context. It's got great glass, it's compact, and it's built like a tank. After eight years, it's in excellent condition. Now I've taken the filter off, but usually I, to show you this lens, but I usually have a filter on here all the time, which protects the front element. You don't want to scratch the front element. According to Murphy's Law that rules photography, you'll scratch that front element right before the really, really high paying gig. This glass in this lens is great. It's sharp across the frame, at all apertures. The colors are great. There's no problem with flares or purple fringing. And most importantly, there's no optical distortion. So the lines are straight in this. So if you have a vertical line and horizontal lines, lesser ultra wide angle lenses will, you know, might get lines that, that bow in or bow out up and down and then the corners can look kind of goofy this doesn't the geometry of this lens is amazing and that helps me make images with an ultra wide angle lens that doesn't scream he used an ultra wide angle lens this is a great lens a lot of my greatest images have come with this there's the cliche of they're gonna have to pry that lens out of my cold dead hand i thought that would be my 56 millimeter f 1.2 but actually it's probably this i have more images that i want to share using this lens than this i mean I have lots of images. I have many, many terabytes of images, but this lens is really good. Other things about this lens, it's compact. Now I don't have a car, so I got to carry my gear with me wherever I go. I don't want to carry that much. One of the reasons I got Fujifilm mirrorless cameras is that they're lighter and that these, their lenses are awesome. Other aspects of this lens are, it's it's really well built. Um, it's really solid. I, again, I've been using this for eight years and I've had no problems with it. It's got this autofocus manual clutch mechanism which can be very useful for manually setting your focus it also has hard stops at infinity and close focus which is also really nice i don't particularly like those lenses that keep spinning around and around i used to originally do manual focus when i was a newspaper photographer so but let me tell you a bit about how i use this lens my clients have traveled overseas to come to japan probably at great expense and they want to have their pictures in the Kyoto environment, the old, in old Japan. So this lens helps me do that. For my environmental portraits, I want my subject to be in the environment. There's also a perspective part where a wide angle lens, especially an ultra wide angle lens, where the subject is close and then the background, there's like a separation. Now, if you do this, to, if the ones is too wide, the separation, it gets kind of weird. The per the thing in the foreground looks strange, okay? And this is one of the challenges of using an ultra wide angle lens is that in the center of the frame, things, the perspective looks good, especially people. But if you put the people toward the side of the frame, they start looking weird. And if you use an ultra wide angle lens incorrectly, you can get Gumby head. When people are paying to get their pictures taken, they want to look good. They don't want to look weird. So one of the things about this lens is you really need to learn how to use it correctly. For example, I don't really use this too much during a wedding photo shoot. During the portrait part of it, I do, but not during the wedding itself, except one part of the wedding ceremony when the bride and the groom, or the two grooms, or the two brides, are in front of the altar, I show them with the wide angle lens so it shows the whole room. And then I put on my 18 millimeter lens, a moderate wide angle lens for shooting the actual ceremony. Because with the moderate wide angle lens, the people look normal. There's not gonna be distortion of the humans worth the ultra wide angle lens. If I can't really control the situation, it'll look, it'll look goofy. Okay, what can I talk about the negatives of this lens? For me, the biggest one is the aperture ring is kinda loose. This is common with the, the earlier Fujifilm lenses. I can 
easily bump it. You think you're on auto and you're actually on F22. That's a problem. It hasn't been a deal breaker. I just have to keep an eye on it. There's also the this clutch. Can it be the same thing too? Otherwise, there's not a whole lot of negatives to this. Um, it's got the older focusing system. Again, it's in one of the first lenses in the Fujifilm system. So that might be a negative to some people. It's not weather sealed. That might be a problem for some people, but for me, it's not. This is, but this is built very solidly. This is a high quality lens. This is on par with like the 18, with the 16 1.4 and those, those kind of lens, the 23 1.4. This is one of those caliber of lenses. Will this work for you? I think this is good for a travel. This can be good for landscape photography or cityscape photography. It can be good for street photography if you really want to have a wide angle view, especially with this clutch mechanism, you can set the focus and you don't have to worry about any autofocus lag. Now, who is this not for? I don't think this is for somebody who's doing events or, or weddings or stuff like that where there's a lot of people, especially when you can't really control the people. This is not a good lens for that. That's one of the reasons why I keep the 18 millimeter. In conclusion, this is an awesome lens. I've been using it for eight years. It's held up well. It looks really good. It takes brilliant images if you know how to use it. It's got great glass. It's solidly built. It's compact. I, I recommend this lens if you're looking for this focal length. Um, get it and try it. See if it works for you. Okay, so if you have any questions or comments or video ideas, please write them in the comments below. And if you liked what I, we're doing here, you know, don't forget to hit like or subscribe. If you wanna learn a little bit more about what I do as a professional photographer, private tour guide, workshop leader, and online travel consultant, take a look in the comments below. Links to my websites, all right? So thanks a lot and hey, have a good one.